Miami. She know what she doing. Miami just letting Diddy trick on her. She just getting to the bag. She's benefiting from this. This is what the girls need to be doing because Miami getting be getting new whips and stuff. They just mad. They hate it. Miami just having fun and having her way. Child, so we are back for another one, Amygdala 2, and I had to do it. You know, again, I told y'all our Instagram community is so lit, and this week we had a follow-up conversation about this. Now, if you didn't know, earlier this week, Diddy announced that he fathered another child back in October named Love Sean Combs with 28-year-old cybersecurity specialist Dana Tran, who was alleged to have been married, and when her husband found out about the pregnancy, he filed for divorce. So the girls have had a week. Okay, and by now we all can see that Diddy has a tight child from Cassie to Daphne to Gina to Jessie Mae to Dana. And in the first amygdala video, we discussed the amygdala and examined how women are not biologically wired the same as men down to their brains. And during that video, I briefly touched on the fact that many female rappers are not really living what they rap about. And so I want to expound on that a little bit more. Now, immediately after Carisha brought Diddy on the first episode of her podcast, Carisha Please, the internet went into a frenzy. Partly because this was their first time addressing the status of their relationship and partly because the energy between them made it clear that they were in two different lanes. Diddy was driving the I'm promoting my brand highway, clearly focused on his business endeavors, while Carisha was driving the whirlpool of lust highway and simply focused on Diddy's billionaire D and the status of their situationship. Sometime after the podcast aired, Carisha did an interview with Double XL Magazine, and when asked about why she questioned Diddy about what is we, she responded, We are dating, we single, but we're dating. People don't know what dating means. He's single, I'm single, but we're dating. That's what I mean when I say we go together. When we together, we're together. When we're having a time of our lives, but we're still single. She goes on to say that we see other people outside of each other and that she's young and just having fun and that they're both doing them. You see, the one thing that Carisha was missing from her response was the sex part, which is why I'm confused as to why that was left off. Carisha is just describing what we know today as modern dating situationships aka sex sleeping around with one another anything goes getting feelings involved no boundaries texting and talking to people who we know are not right for us or we are not even really feeling like that no std tests baby mama culture soul ties and just really whatever floats our boat and the irony is that the music is not only a major component of our sexual culture but it is also the driver that helps reinforce to this generation of men and women that having meaningless sex and wasting time with the wrong people is a new wave and the rap girls like jt miami meg the stallion mulatto ruby rose and mrs munch only re reinforce to the men and more importantly the women of the black community that this is okay that this is the new bar for us the new standard for us and while her way says that the devil is a lie so i'm attempting to gather the girls you see my concern is that carisha swears up and down that she's a about this city girl life, but we all know she been crashed out behind Diddy. I mean, every time I look online, Miss Miami is tussling with a member of the Sean Puff Diddy brother love harem. And like I said in the first amygdala video, if Carisha is just getting a bag from Diddy and having her way, nothing more, nothing less, it's no reason to be online tussling with the sister wives. Play your position and call it a day. That's how the that's how the real city girls do it. Real city girls gonna treat Diddy just like he another trick. A real city girl will let Diddy spend all his money, keep him in the background, and never go public with him. Wouldn't dare speak on anything publicly. Would sit back with an extra bank account, loading all of Diddy's allowances and deposits into it, and collecting all his cars, milking him for everything that they can get from him, while dropping back-to-back -back city girl albums on top of that. Because they know a man like Diddy going to keep something in rotation. He going to keep a collection of women. They know that this is not going to last forever. They know that they are really here for the, the coins. Okay, They know what they're really here for. What they're truly getting out of this. Miami ain't a city girl. All that coming online to congratulate him about his music accomplishments. That he's making off of your name and your clout anyways. Posting the flowers and the private jets. No, ma'am. Showing receipts to show that he spent $100,000 on you in the stores. Going back 
back and forth with Daphne on his birthday about how you gonna spin the block about him because you felt some type of way that Daphne wished her favorite person a happy birthday and then followed it up with another post about from them being on vacation to say that she was blessed. Carisha, please. And then still going at it with Gina, still tussing back and forth with Gina. I swear, Gina comes online just to get this type of reaction for Carisha, which does nothing but bring her more followers and more clout off Carisha's name. These two have the messiest drag out fights online. Gina posts saying that Carisha focused on beefing over Diddy and the whole time he got another woman pregnant. Everything doesn't warrant a response. If you happy with what you and Diddy got going on, then continue to play your role. Continue to collect your coins, play your position. You know what it is with him. But see, Carisha's pressed, and her being pressed just further reiterates my thought process about the amygdala and the way in which many women want to be like men so bad when it comes to playing these type of games and relationships, but they're not really about that life. They're not really built for it. Carisha's not built for this. Literally a few days after Diddy announced the birth of his seventh child, he was seen holding hands with the newest woman that he's believed to be dating, influencer Shantaya Joseph in New York City. And outside of the billionaire status and the gifts and the money, Diddy has to have a way with words. That's the only thing that I can think of that would leave the girls to play these type of games. And one of the members of our Instagram community referred to Diddy as a charmer, as charismatic, and it's something outside of the power and money that I believe is keeping the girls around. You know, and, and it's not just keeping them around. It's keeping them around and tussling, tussling for that top spot. And so here come Carisha online again, responding to DJ Academics because he called her a side chick. And then she clearly picked up the phone and called Diddy and told him that he got to say something about this. He got to address it because what he not about to do is have her online looking more crazy than she already does. So Diddy, Diddy comes online to mitigate the situation, to make it known that his shoddy wop is not his side chick because at the end of the day, Carisha is his golden egg. Just last year, nobody was thinking or talking about Diddy Child, so he got to keep the momentum going. He can't let his golden egg get away. He's finally being back talked about and dropping music. He's been in the news more than the city girls have been lately. So whatever he got to do or got to say to smooth this over, he going to do it. Ladies, men like Diddy are who they are. Okay, it's no changing them. A hundred years from now, Diddy will be singing the same tune. You see, there are pros and cons to dating older men with money. Pros are that they are usually more established than men your age. And since men take a lot longer to mature, these type of men can oftentimes match your maturity level. And I say oftentimes because not always, but most often they can match your maturity level, which is a good thing. But cons are due to the age difference, these men have been in more relationships than you have. So so it's much easier for them to finesse you if you are not mentally on point, especially once sex becomes involved. Remember, that's the whole point of these amygdala videos. That's what we introduced in the first video. And men like this are often quick to use their stature and what they have as an upper hand in preventing you from leaving sooner than later. But the thing that these men don't have that you do is your youth. And unless you are the one benefiting from the situation, I see no point in wasting your time with this. You see, despite what the rap girls say, they are not really about this life either. Despite what Carisha says, I don't think she's truly built for this situation shit with Diddy. She, like many women who have found themselves tangled in these type of situationships, become emotionally unstable as a result. You see, Carisha and her arch enemy Gina are in the same boat. Both are trying to play the same game, but they're not built for it. The only difference is that Carisha has more clout and more influence than Gina, so it looks like she has it all. Ladies, always focus on yourself first, please. Stop letting these rap girls play you off the streets. Men will be men. They're going to do what they're going to do. And once you realize that there is nothing that you can do to try to beat a man at a man's game, at his own game, to me, that's when you truly win as a woman. So I've heard from our Instagram community. Okay, now I want to hear from you all over here on YouTube. What are your thoughts about Carisha and Diddy now that things have played out more in the public eye? And are the rap girls leading young women astray? Until next time.